I th- I, two things, and I'm gonna just be very clear with it. Jack got to know what the fuck his story is. People want if you're gonna rap like how you're rapping, give us a story, and your story better be something we can relate to. I know you're a white dude, but you got to make that story something that people can gravitate towards. Because the way you're rapping, the the journey's gonna be important. Like for example, if people didn't identify with the story and the journey of uh, uh, of J Cole specifically, J Cole would not be J Cole now. People identify with that early. And even when he didn't, he was still trying to figure out the formula or his technique on making a hit song, he got people to buy into his journey, which is very important. I think Jack Harlow has it the other way around. He could make hit songs, but is he going to get people to buy into projects and longer uh, bodies of work by believing the story? We don't know. That's where I believe we're at with it. Now, the actual project, listen to it. Some of the shit on there, it sound cringy and amateurish. That's just the truth. Some of it also sounds good. I think he should probably curate it better and also realize what, what his target audience is. Now, here's the thing with judging his album, too. I know people keep saying, oh, black people, we accept Jack Harlow. So, you know, Jack is one of the guys. You know, they, they try to treat every cool black uh, white dude. Every cool white dude gets like a black pass like like, like um, Bill Clinton. For me, who knows if he wants to be, if he, his target audience is black people. Remember, I used to be like, yo, yeah, Post Malone wants black people's acceptance. So he has to play the game and bow down this and third. And he kind of came out and was like, nah, I'm like, I'm not saying I don't fuck with black people, but what I'm doing ain't necessarily hip hop and blah, blah. And I was like, hmm? look at that nigga right now. He's winning. He had a different audience. He was right. He didn't necessarily need hip hop. Now hip hop does support him, but yeah. So I can't knock him for it. It is what it is. Dirk Deluxe, didn't Dirk drop a Reloaded already? So I said, let me see. Uh, let, me, let me see what's, what's going on in Discord. Bring Drake to the hood. Surround Drake, round Drake's. I'ma do what it takes. I'ma, mm, mm. I think, is this Boom in here? Or Boom is in the building. I think, all right, Boom. Come on, little Boom. Let me hear what you got to say, brother. Yo! Nigga. Brother. I got to go get my dashiki and my African, my pan-African outfit. I think I'm finally woke again. What's up with you? You think so, Brother bro? Boom. Brother Boom. What's up I'm with you? Gonna, I'm not going to lie, bro. You know what I'm saying? Today, Friday. You know, tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? It's church day. You know what I'm saying? Before the Bible study, Sunday. So I'm going to go, you know, pass out the eulogies to my brothers. Um, do a food drive and pass out eulogies to all my niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? How, how you feeling, bro? I'm pulling my, I got my, I got my, what's it called? Turban? What's that shit called? Come on, yeah, bro. man. Brother Boom, Brother Boom. That's not a turban. That, that, that's, that's a, a kufi. That's a dashiki. A kuna? Matata? I don't know, bro. Listen. That originates from the, from, from Western Africa. You ever heard of Sierra Leone? Nigga, you said a rakishi? And that's the wrestler that be putting his ass in niggas' faces? Nigga, did you like the fucking album or not, man? Man, that shit was a 7 out of 10. First listen, though. I gave Damn a 7 out of 10 first listen, but that shit low-key a 9 now. But this no, one... You gave Damn a 7 out of 10? I did, bro. But oh, when I was really going up. through it, when I went homeless and shit, and I was listening to it, bro, that nigga was really special. Oh, yeah. That, I was it, just... You probably yeah. got that nigga a 7 out of 10 because he was celebrating life too much, nigga. If he was yeah, homeless, I was like, nigga, you Yeah, happy. if he was homeless, it was like, nigga, what the fuck is... What the fuck is so nigga, fucking happy nigga, about, nigga? nigga. I, I was homeless, and I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, Damn. <laughs> I was just like, damn, bro. This nigga is a goat. 
I, I, I listen, shit. I feel uh, like, and this is why, like, you know, I'm, I don't want to react to it initially. I feel like mad shit probably went nah, over my scared, head. You scared, bro. That's what it is. Really no, 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 scared, no. I, I, I feel you like, I feel it. like, no, no. I could tell you what I think about it on first listen, but I can't tell you that I get the album. Like, bro, like, I don't even know yeah, what that is. Yeah, but that's not about. the, I don't know if that's like, just to give an opinion on the first listen, I mean, you gotta get, it's gonna take more than one listen to list the album. It's, if you feel the song, yeah, if you like yo, what you're saying. Yo, play this. If if this was a smoke purple little pump album, nigga, I already got I know what the <laughs> fuck this is. But here's the thing though, no. it's like when it comes to like a guy like Kendrick, bro, you know he's really good at crafting these thematic albums. And like, yo, I I want to I want to be in in the um the echelon of the people who are tapped in, who knows what his intention was, who knows what he was trying to execute, who knows like you know what I mean like. Again, I think I think he's just earned that. Now, if it's Lil Pump, is is it a slapper or is it not? But with Kendrick, I feel like, I feel like Ken Kendrick a pass though. What I you mean? Like he my top three. He my top three rappers. Behind who? It's Yay, Drake, and Kendrick. You mean Drake, Yay, and Kendrick? I feel you on no, that. No, no, Yay, Drake, then Kendrick. Man, I, I might put Young Thug over. No, let me stop. Let me stop. You you might get mad, bro. You You're not, mad, bro. nigga. You only. You, you might put Young Thug where? Stop it, brother. You, you, you don't even listen to Young Thug. Who, Yo, what? Everybody bro. now everybody now is a YSL fan since Thug bro, is locked You want to be honest with you, bro? I'm going to say some shit that niggas, bro, niggas are scared to say, bro. Since Slime Season 3, Young Thug been really ass. Like, he really been mid. And that's my favorite. This is my favorite, this is my favorite rapper, bro. Young Thug is my favorite, bro. He's really so you going to wait till like, a nigga get locked up to call this nigga mid, bro. I ain't going to lie. You uh, niggas bro, ain't shit, he not, Nah, he's still a goat, but like, you so much ain't fun. Shit, man. Like, 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 so much fun ain't shit compared to Barter Six. Like, that's what made me upset. Like, on, he sold 130k. Barter Six bumming, yeah. And then he sold 17k with Barter, Barter Six bumming. Barter Six bumming, yeah. Like, bro, every every Young Thug fan will know that Barter Six is like his greatest album. Like, this is like his greatest album, and that bitch only sold 17k. And then so much fun, which is really just some commercial pop. Like, that shit really ass compared to Barter Six. It's like, bro, Young Thug really ain't been the same nigga since. He stopped doing drugs. I'm just be real. Fuck it. I'm just saying. Since that nigga stopped doing perk, bro. Like, I don't know if you ever ever knew, but like Young Thug was so high, bro. When he was making all them songs, he was so fucking high. Wait, wait, wait. Was... What makes you think he stopped getting high? You can hear it in his music. <laughs> you can really hear it in his music. He like, he don't really try, like he don't shriek, he don't do none of his like Nigga, I I, his... I think the difference in his music is because he's focused on being the executive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He probably making so much money, same way with his Kendrick shit. Kendrick probably make Either that money. or he was just so focused on, on, on getting wife and Lucy killed. Like, that nigga was, you know, he was... I, yeah, nah, I feel like he's just making so much just... money off Gunna, he don't got to rap no more. He really don't got to rap no more. He make way more money with Gunna than he do making an album. That's just... Like, you know that. You know niggas who go on labels make more money than the niggas who rap. I really think Kendrick Lamar said, fuck it, I'm going to just start my own label, nigga, and just have Baby King just rap while I'm, while I'm disappearing for five years. But come on, bro. Like, Drake, Drake, that's what I think Drake ain't successfully do yet. Like he ain't Man, fuck all of that. What about this Kendrick album? Are you saying this shit not classic, nigga? He took five nah, years. It's, it's not a classic, bro. I feel like he doing some Frank Ocean shit, bro. He, he must got another album in the tuck, bro. It's not a classic. At least from the first listen, I gotta hear it again. I'm listening to it like three more times, but I can't, bro. I can't okay, what's your first? I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, it's too many features. It's just too much shit going on for a Kendrick album, bro. You know Kendrick don't have. Nigga had like fucking it, 13 It, it was features. a Kodak Black on the interlude that did it for and me. And he that, carried, like, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Kodak carried on that song, Silent Hill. He really carried. Oh, him. you bro, feel like Kodak, Kodak carried, carried? Kodak carried Kendrick Lamar, bro. Yo, yo, yo. Can I ask a real question, though? Yo, and I yeah. want everybody in the chat and also if you're watching this on YouTube, like the comment section to answer this. Do y'all feel like, yo, you know, it's just Kendrick's style is just outdated now? It's just no, like no, no, fuck no, bro. Kendrick is a goat, bro. Like Kendrick is a goat, bro. Like no, bro. Kendrick is. So a what was different goat. about this album then? That it's you're just, not even the it's just for one, it's like the delivery is too many features and the beats. You know what I'm saying? The hooks are ass. You know what I'm saying? It's just like he nigga Kendrick ass. hooks always been ass. Nah, bro. Loyalty. He got shit that's like love. Like he got hooks. No, no, no. He got off. better on damn. But like I ain't gonna lie. If you go back to like. If you go back to shit, what section you mean? 80. Good Kid, Mad City had. I mean, Two Pimp a Butterfly wasn't really even a commercial album. That was some, like some hook. That was some nigga shit. So if you gonna go to Section Eighty and Good Kid, Mad City, they all had good hooks, swimming pools, all the nigga. Shit. You're talking about some commercial songs, nigga. You, you, you ever listen to Untitled, nigga? Even, even his songs. Nigga, that you ever listen to Untitled? Even, 
You ever listen to Untitled? Yes, bro. Yes, that's one of my favorite albums from this nigga, bro. That's one bro, of the best that so nigga far. didn't give a fuck about no fucking hooks, bro. Yeah, but he can make good hooks. That's what I'm telling you. He made Untitled Master, then he made Damn. Am, am I tripping? Yeah, he made Damn after he made Untitled Master. So he can definitely make hooks, bro. You tripping. Man, you I think you want to say it. Just, just come over to this side. Over your fans will forgive you. You're trying to nah, say that. You know, no, I hold on. Drink, You're bro. trying to say that CLB is better than th- th- this Kendrick album. No, you saying. know, you know what's crazy? I expected this to be better than CLB, but it's really not, bro. Damn. It's do- I texted you, bro. It's Donda, CLB, and then it's this, then it's this album, bro. Facts. So, Facts, bro. Whoa. So you say only Donda that, is the best. The only thing that excludes CLB is way too sexy, bro. If that shit was not on the album, bro, it would be even better than it than it than it. Like it's like a eight. Like, it's like a 7.5 type shit. So, so you're pretty much see. saying on the record, like, yo, you know what I mean? Um, Say you a lesbian, I guess me yeah, too. Yeah, like, he it, just... It, that it, way, it, no, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's girls on girls. Both of them songs really can go. Like, both of them songs really can go, but I know he made that so, shit. So it sounds like you're really trying to say, this nigga Kendrick... Did all this fucking rapping, but then they ain't put no slappers on it, man. Yeah, I hear no slapp- shit that you gonna not, be like, yo, not this. Even, not even no slappers. He ain't saying shit, bro. Like, Kendrick nah, nah, he was saying like, shit. He started saying the f word. He basically yeah, was just like, like I yo, get, I get that, but like, he, he started talking about like trans. Yeah, like, he started doing that nah, Dave Chappelle bro, shit. Like, but but like he, he like bro, that's not even what, like I get it, but Kendrick ain't even known for some some, some shit like that. He slid he slid on cancer culture and shit, but like he not talking about poverty. He not talking about growing up in the slums. He just talking about being a dad and. Bro, I you want to be he encouraging people to get families, bro. Yeah, but not everybody who listens to this nigga want a family. Like, I get that shit, but like, nigga, nigga, on, you Drake, about, nigga, you Drake, talk about where you come from. Nigga, nigga like, Drake on, rapping bro. about PTA means if we give Drake a pass. What I the mean, fuck? this nigga Drake talking about girls. Want, he talking about he way too sexy, bro. Like, we gonna be real. Like, Drake talking about he fucking way too sexy, bro. So, like, Drake ain't in it. Yo, Chad, actual... what's better, CLB or this new Kendrick album? Let me see. <laughs> Do the poll right now. Let's go. I did a this. poll. I did a poll already, bro. CLB. It was Donda, CLB, and then. then nah, nah. We not throwing Donda in this. This is Drake and this is Drake and Kendrick. Hey, look, look, look. Niggas know Donda. Niggas know how Donda is. Yo, Graham, make the Graham, make the chat. You only talk about trending topics, cloud chasing. I want to say cloud chasing. It's just like, bro. Yo, chat. Yo, it's can we just keep it a thousand, man? That nigga Kendrick on his his fucking Kyrie Irving vibes right now. You know what I mean? Flatter shit. You know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he was talking about the vaccine and shit. Like, bro. Yo, yo, yeah, I know what type of vibe that is. That nigga ain't finna give y'all nothing for the club, nigga. He about to give y'all something for y'all conspiracy theories. That's about it, bro. Yeah, Listen. Him ain't have shit for the, I guess. Dude. No, that nigga say, yo, I like some fat asses with some stretch marks. Oh, yeah, he did. He Come on did. now. Yeah, he Come did. on now. Yeah, Stop this song ain't got none of that. This song, this album ain't got none of that shit, bro. Am I tri- bro, the only song that they can go in a, yo, in the club. Yo, yo, I guarantee just- Kendrick. I guarantee Kendrick ain't got to, ain't take the vaccine. How much I bet? How much? He said it. He said it. He said it. He said something about like I caught COVID and I thought Kyrie was tripping or some shit. And he was like, I don't know if I want to. He he was talking about it. I think he said he did it, take it or something like that. But like, he was talking, it. but it's like, bro, he has N95, which is a mask. Let me. I'm looking up the lyrics right now. Like nobody want to fucking hear about no fucking vaccine, bro. Like bro, we want to hear you talk about cop running the streets, nigga. The shit that it uplifts the youth, nigga, the kids in the ghetto and shit like that, bro. Like, that's who you make music for, shit. I don't know what the fuck he was rapping about, vaccine. Uh, All right, let me read some of these shit. lyrics in N95, which I think this is about the COVID shit. It, say, yo, it says, this is verse one. Yo, take off the foo-foo. Take off the cloud chase. Take off the Wi-Fi. Take off the money phone. Take off the car loan. Take off the flex and the white laws. Take off the weird-ass jewelry. I'm going to take 10 steps, and I'm going to take off... I'm taking off top five. Take off fabricate streams, microwave memes, the wor- real world outside. Take off your idols. Take off the runway. I take off to Cairo. Take off to San Pay. Five days stay. Take a quarter million. Hell if I know. Take off the front fly. Take off perception. Take off the cop with the eye patch. Take off your loyal. Take off the unsure. Take off the decision I like. Take off the fake deep. Take off the fake woke. Take off the I'm broke. I care. Take off the gossip. Take off the new, new logic that I'm rich. I'm rare. Take off the Chanel. Take off the, the Dolce. Take off the Birkin bag. Take off all that designer bullshit. What do you have? What That's hard. I ain't gonna lie. He snapped. I ain't gonna lie. This, this this shit this shit hitting all rap genius right now. Maybe that nigga was rapping too fast for us, bro. I'm over here drinking liquor, nigga. Like that the lyrics good, but it's all this, also the production, the mixing, is all that that makes a good album. Let me see. He says the world in a panic. The women are stranded. The men are on a run. The the profits abandoned. The Lord take advantage. The markets is crashing. The industry want niggas and bitches to sleep in a box 
where they making a mockery following us. They say Monopoly watching for love. They say monogamy, y'all getting fucked. Jumping on what the hell is this? I got to relax when I feel all my descendants, they come in my sleep, say I'm too real. I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal, done with the black and white. Oh, I get what this is all about. Bro, this, isn't a song about COVID, though. No, this whole album, nigga, is him canceling cancel culture, bro. Yeah, Real talk. Nigga. Real talk. I just got it. Bro, he's cancel. Yo, like, he's 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 going anti, kind of anti-culture, but he's going back towards what main culture used to be, which is like, remember him saying the F word, which I ain't going to say on here because, you know, whatever. You know, Twitch yes, like it anyway. Yes, he yes, was just yes. basically saying there was a time that people could say that, and it just wasn't, like, taken like how it's taken now. You know what I mean? Okay, so that's gonna make it good. No, no, no. Like, I, I, I'm talking about the message behind. Like, I get the message. I get. I, I get the message. Bro, bro, you gotta care about the message because the reason why a, a album like Donda is better than CLB, arguably, is because Donda has more depth to it. Because CLB True. definitely got more slappers than that bitch. That's a fact. That's but funky. Donda, Donda is just a deeper. More complex more personal, album, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like Drake rapping on the surface a little bit and touching surface topics. Kanye went a little bit deeper, but when it comes to Kendrick, nigga, he's tackling some shit. That's, bro, tackling cancel culture, dog. Are you crazy? I get that, but how many? All right, all right. I wish you can go through because it's not. He's not doing that on every song, though. He's not doing that on every song. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Look like he go he not, in this one. He not doing that on every song, though. He not. He had a song about a baby mama and shit. Like, fuck. listen, it just, he said, yo, can I vent all my truth? I got nothing to lose. I've got problems and pools. I can swim in my faith. Cameras moving whenever I move in the family soon, whatever I make. Murder is stacking. The president's acting. The government taxing my funds in the bank. Homies attracting the feds when I'm bracking. Look at my reaction. My pupils on skates. Let's think about this for a second. Tell me what you do for the aesthetic. Would you sell your soul for credit? Would you sell your bro for leverage? Where are the hypocrites at? What community feel like they're the only ones relevant? Where the hypocrites at? What community feel they the only ones relevant? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and in the outro, he says, what the fuck is cancer culture, dog? Say what I want to say about you niggas. I'm like, Oprah, dog, I treat you. I ain't even gonna say that word either. Shit, I'm pussy. I ain't gonna lie. Treat you C-words like I'm Jigga. The C-words rhymes with whackers. So you know what that is. I treat oh, you C words like I'm Jigger. Watch, I own it all. Oh, you worried about a critic that ain't protocol. Bitch. Oh, shit. Kendrick canceled cu culture. Like, uh, he canceled cancel culture. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. Bro, yo, no. you got to realize when Kendrick, like, you got to give K Kendrick credit for taking on plights. That Drake and other niggas like that don't mm -hmm. do, bro. That's why, but that's why niggas give Dave Chappelle his his flowers. He doing that. You know All right, saying? but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's I'm not, why. I'm not taking away his yo, yo, yo. So that. who's funny? Like I ain't gonna lie, I listen to Dave Chappelle's like stand up sometimes recently, and it seems more political, like you know about him pushing the boundaries than him just really just trying to get jokes off. So who's funnier to you, right? Ha ha Davis, right? Or Drewski, who's just looking for cheap laughs. Or the nigga who, yeah, you get some laughs, but the plight of what his comedy is is much bigger. You get me? Let's talk, like, you get what I'm saying? I get, that. I, get that. I, get, I get what you're saying. I get exactly what you're saying, yeah. I and I think that's what Kendrick's doing where, like, yo, bro, if we just looking for, I think he proved with damn, bro, I could give y'all hot songs. Y'all want hot songs? Think I could give y'all that. But that ain't never been my plight. If that was my plight, I would be concerned about charts. I'd be concerned about being here all the time. I wouldn't go away for five years. I go. I came back for, for, from a five-year hiatus to give a message, and the message is fuck cancer culture. Eh, you can do better than that. You don't like it? I no, I'm not saying I don't like it. You can't continue that not, shit. I'm just, I'm just not gonna say it's my favorite Kendrick. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna dick ride. Like it's not my favorite Kendrick because he got more, so, he got more albums with better messages than that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, yo. Culture. Maybe I should have read the lyrics, Chad. Because look, this is um, um, what song is this? Worldwide Steppers. He says, yo. I'm not for the faint of heart. My genetic build can build multiverses. The men of God playing baby shark with my daughter. Okay, he doing a little father raps. Okay, watching for sharks outside at the same time. Life as a protective father, I'd kill for her. My son Eno, it, 
it's the part two when I inspire my children and make high values. In my present moment, I saw that through. Ask Whitney about my lust addiction. Text messaging bitches got my thumbs hurt. Set precedence as a new sacred religion. Writer's block. This is what I want to get to. Writer's block for two years. Nothing moved me. Ask God to speak through me. That's why you're here and now. The voice of yours truly. Teleport out of my home body for comfort. I don't pass judgment. Past life regressions keep me in question. Where did I come from? I don't think like I used to. No, I don't blink like I used to. Awkward stares, blah, blah, blah. Da, da. Oh, he started talking that, that, that um, Shea about the Twitter shit. He said, synchronization with my energy chakras. Anytime somebody talk about chakras, I know they on some shit. That goes, oh, this thing even said, goes to Dr. Sebi. Paid for it, cleaned out my toxins back then. Bro, oh, but even okay. Ye, Ye is, uh, yo, Ye is very, like, it's very easy to get what he's saying. Whether you accept it is what, another thing. A nigga like Kendrick, I think he's a he's a wordsmith, so he's coding and he's he's putting together so much shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm reading the lyrics now, and I sat through the album. I know somebody might be like, oh, IQ, you look like he was about to fall asleep. I was trying to listen. I hear half of the shit I'm reading. That's what I'm, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, like I, I've only heard it one time. Like, so it looked like he like kicking that message. Eight billion people on Earth, silent murderers, nonprofit preachers in church, crooks and burglars, Hollywood corporate and screwing teaching philosophies. You either gonna be dead or in jail. Killer psychology, silent murderer. What's your body count? Who your sponsorship? Objectified so many bitches. I killed their confidence. The media, the new religion. You killed the consciousness. Your jealousy is way too pretentious. You killed accomplishments. Niggas kill free speech. Everybody's sensitive. If your opinion, fuck around and leak. Might as well send your will. Holy shit, that's deep. Basically, remember, like, that's getting that, that cancel culture, which means yeah, you can't say what you mean no more. Okay. The industry has, cre has killed the creators. Oh, that's true, too. A lot of comedians don't even want to do like comedy like that no more because they can't say what they want. The industry has killed the creators. I'll be the first to say to each exec, I'm saving your children. We can't negotiate. I caught a couple bodies myself, slipped my community. My last Christmas toy drive in Compton handed out eulogies, not because the rags in the park had a red gradient, but because a high blood pressure f flooded the catering. So what's the difference between your life where hiding motives? The fatalities and reality bring you closure. The noble person that goes to work and pray like they post to slaughter people, your murder's just a little bit slower. I ain't gonna lie, he's saying a lot of shit. He says, I'm a killer, he's a killer, she's a killer, bitch. Weez them killers, walking zombies, trying to scratch an itch. Germophobic, hetero, and homophobic. Photoshop lies and motives, hide your eyes, then pose for the pick. I ain't gonna lie, maybe we've just been listening to dumb down lyrics for the last couple of years that when this nigga come with all that, you know what I mean, spiritual miracle hieroglyphic type stuff, we're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm comparing it to listening to his, his other shit, but I'm not gonna say that. Like, I'm gonna compare it, my first time listening to it, that shit ain't hit, like the first time I heard I don't know, Section 80 or Good Kid Mad City. It just ain't hit like that. So I got to listen to it again and mm. hear it more than one time. But as my first listen, that shit is the bottom of my Kendrick Lamar album. And that shit ain't going to change. Until after I listen to it, like, damn, was on the bottom. That shit is on my third. So I got to listen to it again. But first time hearing it, the beats, the beats are eh. The flow's eh. The mix ain't eh. The lyrics always going to be there. The flow's are eh. Yeah, bro. Like, the mixing and the hooks are eh. Like, I ain't trying to, bro, I want, a, I want a cohesive album put together by Kendrick Lamar. I ain't wait five years for this nigga to just to rap about cancer culture, bro. I want a hard ass album. Just my opinion. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell y'all niggas how I feel. This ain't the first time I'm going to some shit niggas don't like, so. Like, nah, bro, I told niggas CLB. I told I mean, niggas Donna was better than CLB and niggas got on my ass, but as time will tell, so. Yo, he said, frat brother, real nigga, that brother. We just up the score. Give me that, brother. Spirit medium. I don't rap, brother. We headed there. Are you strapped, brother? Hey, peacemaker, but I'm not naive, brother. Gotta watch your homies and police, brother. Hey, clout chasing. 
a hell of a disease, brother. I'm fasting four days out the week, brother. I pray to God that you realize the entourage is dead. I pray to God that you're not lacking when you're off the meds. I pray to God she know them Cabo trips don't last forever. Bet she argue with her mama and go and get them kids. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Now you talk about some shit, man. Uh. Yo, yo, I think I'm with you. Like, when we all listen to music for the first time, the first thing we kind of think about is how catchy is this? How much would this, like, how much is this banging? Like, just sonically, how does it sound? Does it yeah, sound I'm pleasing? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, oh, is it going to hit in the club? Or not? I'm not yeah, yeah, like, yo, sonically, is this pleasing to my ears? Like, oh, I would like to listen to this a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I, I, would, mm -hmm. I would love to, like, I know this is not a lyrical song, but when I heard, when I heard that Wait For You song with Drake, Kendrick, and Thames, I love Thames, by the way. Um, Kendrick, niggas. Future. No, 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 but that's what I'm saying. Like, when I heard that song, when I heard that song, so when I heard Future, Future Drake, and Thames, I was like, oh, I'm going to listen to this song a lot of times. This song sounds pleasing to me. So, so without even really knowing the lyrics or what it said, I knew that that song was sonically pleasing to me. The, 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 the piano, the riffs, the everything, the production, you know, the, 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 uh, um, people who sung or rapped on it. I'm like, this is good. I'm going to listen to this all the time. When you listen to Kendrick's album, it feels like a chore a little bit where you're like, all right, shit, I got to, I kind of got to get the lyrics to kind of like feel good about the, 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 the music. Right. I, I get it. Just, I don't know. I guess I'm critiquing it. Like, like for example, swimming pools by him. Even if you didn't read the lyrics of swimming pools, swimming pools sounds like a great song. And he, but he's actually rapping though. He's rapping on that motherfucker. That shit's a hit song. He rapping on that bitch, bro. He rapping about his dad, his family doing alcohol and drinking. Him, it's literally rap about alcohol abuse, bro. And that shit is a, that shit still hard, go hard. So it's like, just the message he said. Like I get what he's trying to say, but it just don't relate to. I guess I can understand what he's saying, but it's not gonna relate to the youth and everybody else. Like to change their like, like as they grow up and shit. Like, oh, this is where he talking about the vaccine. He said, "Yo, that Kyrie shit, right?" Uh, I don't know if you mentioned. Oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. Yeah. Um, it's on. Uh, Savior. He Savior. Says, yeah, it's on. That's my. That's my. Yo, he says, on. bite their tongues and rap lyrics. Scared to be crucified about a song, but they won't admit. Politically correct is how you keep an opinion. Niggas is tight lipped. Fuck who dare to be different. Seen a Christian say the vaccine mark of the beast. Then he caught COVID and prayed to the Pfizer for relief. Then I caught COVID and started to question Kyrie. Will I stay organic or hurt in bed for two weeks? Do you really want to know? He says, do you really want peace? Then watch us in the streets. One protest for you, 365 for me. Vladimir making nightmares. I guess he's talking about Putin. But that's how we all think. The collective consciousness, calamities or repeat. Oh, shit. Oh, it looked like he pretty much teases it. But yeah, that nigga ain't get the vaccine. <laughs> yeah, that nigga ain't get the vaccine. <laughs> ain't get that shit, no vax, Ken. Nigga, unvax, bro. Unvax Kendrick, bro. Wait, so Kendrick is a Muslim? Wait, what did he say there? Oh, he didn't say about, see a Christian. He he made... about, well, he talking about, is it fasting in, I don't know, like somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but is it fasting in like the Muslim community? That is true, but 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 I ain't gonna lie, man. Some of these like, you know, spiritual miracle niggas, they love fasting too, man. You know, just to like get themselves back with some equilibrium. But I don't know. What but he, he's but he also talked about, Say fuck religion, like on Auntie uh, Auntie's diaries. He's he's basically saying like oh, this nigga boom took notes. Yeah, oh, he's man. basically saying like yeah, my auntie is transgender, but like Christian Christianity. Is auntie diaries. Wrong. Yeah, he's like fuck Christianity because that's who you know. What I'm saying? Yo, that's yo, Christian. Kendrick, I'm gonna tell you the truth right now, nigga. You ain't gonna get me to say that f word. You ain't getting me canceled. He says my auntie is a man now. Holy, holy, <laughs> my auntie's a man now. Said my auntie's a man now. I think I'm old enough to understand now. Drinking Parmesan with her hat turned backwards. Back when it was comedic relief to say huh, the F word. F word, F word, F word. We ain't know no better. Elementary kids with no filter. However, my auntie became a man and I took pride in it. She wasn't gay. She ate pussy. And that was a difference. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> That's what I told my friends oh. in second grade. <laughs> she picking me up from school. They stare at her in her face. They could comprehend what I grew accustomed. We pull off bumping quick like it was nothing. My auntie's a man now. What a relationship. I grew up fast. I needed no one to babysit. He gave me straight cash. 
gave me some gang cherry fresh on the dash. Lyric, put the lyrics up if you can. Put the lyrics up on the screen. Oh, I should? Yeah, yeah, you should put the lyrics up. Nah, I, I don't want to pull this. Oh yeah, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, yeah, you're this right. one has got the f word yeah. all over it. Every, every other, any other song. I don't like. Right. He's definitely a storyteller. Demetrius is Marianne now. He's more com confident to live his plan now. But the family is disbelief in time, convincing themselves he ain't living discreet. He's fine. They say they ain't never seen it in him, but I seen it. The Barbie dolls played off the reflection of Venus. He built a wall so tall you couldn't climb over. He didn't laugh as hard when the kids start joking. F word, F word, F word. We ain't know no better. Middle school kids with no filter, however. I had to be m very mindful of my good cousin. I knew exactly who he was, but I still love him. I like Demetrius is Marianne now. I mean, he's really Marianne now. He even took things further, changed his gender before Bruce Jenner was certain. Living his truth, even if it meant s to see a surgeon, we didn't even talk for a while. He seemed more distant, wasn't comfortable around me. Everything was offensive, but I recall we both had a sick sense of humor. Made raw, but time changes all. Demetrius is Marianne now. I remember church each Sunday. I sat in the pew. You had stronger faith, more spiritual when these dudes were living a life straight, which I found ironic because the pastor didn't see him the same. He said my cousin was going through some things. I, he promised the world we live in was an act of abomination, and Demetrius was to blame. I knew you was conflicted by the feelings a preacher made, wondering if God still call you a decent man. Still, you found the courage to be subservient just to anoint, just to anoint until he singled you out to prove his point. Just saying. They got six verses in the song. Demetrius yeah, is Marianne like now. Church, his auntie's a man now. It hurt. He the most, because his belief was close to his words, forcing me to stand now. I said, preach a man. Should we love thy neighbor? The laws of the land or the heart was greater. I recognize the study she was taught since birth, but that one justified the feeling that my cousins preserved. The building was thinking out loud, bad angel. That's when you looked at me and smiled, said thank you. The day I choose humanity over religion, the family got closer. It was all forgiven. I said them F-bombs. I ain't know no better. Mistakenly, I ain't think you'd know any different. See, I... I thought words was nothing more than a sound. If if even no, if everything was pronounced without any intentions, if every second you challenged the shit I was kicking, reminded me about a show I did out in the city. All right, come on, man. Kendrick, yeah, you talking Kendrick, about man. the white girl saying nigga and. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It said, uh, um, reminded me about that show I did out in the city. That time I brought a fan on stage to rap, but dis disapproved the words she couldn't say with me. You said, Kendrick, ain't no room for contradiction to truly understand love, switch position. F word, F word, F word, we can say it together, but only if you let a white girl say nigga. Yeah, so he basically, he, well, you already know what the fuck he's saying. He, yeah, you know. okay. Right. He said, if you're going you to stop this white girl from saying nigga, then stop every other I ain't going to lie, it's classic on Rap Genius. It's classic? Yeah, but you got to nah, it's Nah, yo, read this lyrics, this is a classic. Listen to it. I don't know yet. That's what I'm. That's what I'm, like, to say. I'm not, yeah, I'm not questioning Kendrick Penn, bro. Like, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like th this looks like classic lyrics, but like it doesn't sound as smooth and you know tolerable and you know uh, uh, um um meant for the ear. Like just smooth, like great listening. I feel like it I feels feel like, like yo, it feels like homework. It feels like homework. That's the thing. Bro, it sounded like you was reading a Bluford book, bro. I swear to God. Bro, like bro. Like, I got to compare this to like, it feels like, ho like after school, it's, if the teacher gives you homework that you got to do, as opposed to you're going home to go play the video game with your, with your brother. Like one, like you could do for a long time and past time and you don't even think about like what you're doing. The other, you're going to be tracking every minute of the fucking time you spend doing homework. It just seems like a chore. I wouldn't say it's that bad. It's not that bad where it sounds like a chore because I was definitely waiting to listen to this nigga. No, 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 no. What I mean by it's a chore because, like, nigga, you got to understand some of the shit to really get it, bro. Like, nigga, I'm telling you, all these lyrics I'm reading, I never heard him say one of these shit. That nigga was just rapping. I'm like, I caught a few things in between. N nigga only caught the Drake bar. I definitely caught that Drake bar, nigga. 
If a nigga say Drake, Frake, Break, I already caught it, nigga. Man, first listen, 7.5, man. I'm going to listen to it again. It might push it up to an 8.5. I got to listen to what the fuck he's saying, though. It is total talk. But, this uh, my undisputed uh, truth. Uh-huh. My life is like a forbidden fruit. My bitch know better than I do. A woman's worth. I barely went to church. I'd rather fast with you than fuck it up. Fuck it with skirts because I'm rational. A nigga going to still be a nigga. Emoji heart. My family pictures. Two stepping away from rappers because I don't trust their true intentions. I'm not in the music business. I'm in the human business. Whole life I've been social distant. Hoes be like, when you not tripping? I ducked the party who said they saw me crowned by Marley, wrist on your Gotti. They gonna judge your life for a couple likes on the double tap. Them hoes is sorry. They all get bodied. I bless, I bless it that you have an open heart, but I bless that you forgive. I bless that you can learn from a loss. I bless that you heal. I bless one day you can attract someone with your mind exact, a patient life, flaws. Bless them twice. They'll bless you back. Now I ain't gonna lie. I'm reading these lyrics and I'm like, shit, I gotta listen to this again. Yeah, you gotta. Bro, listen. this boy is spinning. Fuck reading the lyrics. You gotta listen to the album. Nigga. Nah, you this boy is spinning. Yo, this is the joint yeah, with Ghostface Killer. You gotta listen to it. You gotta listen to it. Bro, that song she was. Bro, like, Ghostface man. Killer came in and said, yo, telekinesis. I'm purifying the D speeches. While I'm crying, I clean the feet of the sweet Jesus. Dreams, visions get blurrier than uh, Elohim. Act, his, bro, act, his delivery was ass, though. Like, his delivery was ass. Hey, no, don't you talk about Ghostface like that. Yeah, I fuck with Ghostface. I'm don't just, you bro, talk I'm about not, Ghostface like that. I'm not going to suck these niggas' dick, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I want to give you my opinion. That sh his delivery wasn't as good like as Ghostface Killer was. He was spitting, though. Like, Summer Walker was talking about he don't love you if he don't eat your ass and shit. Like, bro, come on, bro. Like, Yo, Kendrick Lamar, uh, uh, he says... I'm sensitive. I feel everything. I feel everybody. One man standing on two words heal everybody. Transformation and reciprocation. Karma must return. Heal myself. Secrets that I hide buried in these words. Death threats. Ego must die. But I let it purge. Pacify broken pieces of me. It was all a blur. Mother cried. Put their hands on her. It was family ties. I heard it all. I should have grabbed the gun, but I was only five. I still feel it weighing on my heart. My first tough decision in the shadows clinging to my soul as my own critic. Where's my faith? Told you I was Christian, but just not today. I transformed, praying to the trees. God's taking shape. My mother's mother followed me for years in her afterlife, staring at me on the back of some buses. I wake up at night, loved her dearly, traded in my tears for a Range Rover. Transformation, you ain't felt grief until you felt it sober. Oh, shit. I remember looking at the mirror knowing I was gifted, only child. A only child, me for seven years, everything for Christmas, family ties, they accuse my cousin. Did he touch you, Kendrick? Oh, shit. I'm telling you, this boy is talking about some shit. He said, they accuse my cousin. Did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he didn't. Oh, so I guess they thought one of his male cousins touched him. Frozen moments, still holding on it. Hard to trust myself. I started rhyming, coping mechanisms to lift, to lift up myself, talk to my lawyer, Told me not to be so hard on myself. He has an aura I hope to achieve. If I find some help, congratulations, you made it to be famous. Still, I feel uneasy, water watching, live my life in nature. Only thing relieves me, spirit guide, whisper in my ear, tells me that she sees me. Did he touch you? I said no. Again, still they didn't believe me. Mother's brother said he got revenge for my mother's face. Black and blue, the image of my queen that I can't erase till this day. Can't look her in the eyes. Pain is taking over. I blame myself. You never felt guilt till you felt it sober. I was never high. I was never drunk, never out of my mind. I needed control. They handed me some smoke, but I still declined. I did it sober, sitting with myself. I went through all the emotions, no dependence, except for one, let me bring you closer. Intoxicated, that's a lustful nature that I failed to mention. In certain insecurities that I project sleeping with other women, Whitney's hurt. The pure soul I know. I found her in the kitchen asking God, where did I lose myself? Can I be forgiven? Oh, he's a man to cheating. Is his, his girl's called Whitney, right? I don't know. Kendrick's that wife name. Nah. <laughs> no, Kendrick's he a holy man, bro. He ain't cheating on his wife. Oh, yeah, no, it is Whitney. Whitney Alford. Yeah, it is Whitney. Oh, she cheated on her, her ass. Come on, that's no. it. Come on, man. Everybody cheats. Uh, Not Kendrick. <laughs> she said, he said, 
Oh, he found her in the kitchen. She was crying because he cheated. What type of bitch you think Kendrick cheat with? An Instagram model? Probably, real, probably a, a white, like an Asian nerd, like a bitch that worked at Universal, like in the office or some shit, bro. Oh, that's shit. Type of, <laughs> that's the oh, type of bitch Kendrick fucking with, bro. Whitney's hurt. The pure soul I know, I found her in the kitchen asking God, would I lose myself? Could it be forgiven? B- broke me down. She looked me in my eyes. Is there an addiction? I said no, but this time I lied. I knew I can't fix it. Pure soul, even in her pain. Knew she cared for me. Gave me a number. She said she rec- she recommended some therapy. Is it therapy for liquor or therapy for sex? Hold up. I asked my mama why she didn't believe me when I told her no. I never knew she was violated in Chicago. I'm sympathetic. Told me that she feared it happened to me for my protection. Though it never happened, she wouldn't agree. Now I'm affected. 20 years later, traumas resurface. Amplified as I write this song, I shiver because I'm nervous. I was five. Questioning myself, alone for many years, nothing's wrong. Just results on how many questions made me feel. I made it home. Seven years on tours, chasing manhood. Damn. This is deep, bro. Like, he pretty much saying, like, Bro, he's like growing up, dog. He, he, I, I, like you can tell, like he feels like a lot of music industry shit when he was doing that. He was trying to be a man, bro. But Whitney's gone by time. You hear this song. She did all she could. <laughs> all these women gave me superpowers. What I thought I lacked. I pray our childrens don't inherit me in the feelings. I attract a conversation that not being addressed in that's not being addressed in black families. The devastation haunted generations of humanity. They raped our mothers. They raped our sisters. They made us watch. They made us rape each, rape each other. Psychotic torture between our lives we never recover. Still living as victims in the public eyes who, who pledge allegiance. Every other brother has been compromised. I know the secrets. Every other rapper sexually abused. I see them daily bearing the pain in their chains and tattoos. So listen close before you start to pass judgment on how we move. Learn how we cope. Whenever his uncle had to walk him from school, his anger grows deep in misogyny. This is post-traumatic black families and a sodomy. Today is still active. So I set free myself from all the guilt I thought I made. So I set my mother. So I set free my mother from all the hurt that she tilted shame. I set free my cousin chaotic for my mother's pain i hope hakeem made you proud because you ain't die in vain so i said free the power of whitney remember giving to pimp a butterfly i said this was just cr- critically off of the lyrics the best album that year but i did say i don't think it had the best replay value of most albums right so like drake always makes pretty good albums that have high replay value not too much complexity and depth, but replay value on a million. Kendrick, depth, a million, replay value. I think the closest he get with that being super high was damn. Yeah, but to pimp a butterfly had replay value, though. Well, I got to listen to this more. I gotta well, no, 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 no. I think it had replay value over time because of how great the songs were. But I don't think when people initially listen to it, they're like, oh, okay. No, because people wanted songs like, Backseat freestyle and, and and Mad City. That's what we wanted, but like he came with some some songs that had more depth to it, and only until like you know we start having a a social renaissance in the United States, some of his songs really had that replay value. They had a replay value for the movement, but niggas wasn't just going around just listening to them songs like that. You know, I mean, at first, at first. Already- now now those songs are classic. So, you know, it, it's going to spoil our uh, how we look at it. Like, now those songs are classic. But in the moment, like, the replay value wasn't high until we realized how great those songs were. And it is what it is. Oh, let me see. Somebody said Rich Spirit. Let me read the lyrics for that or some shit. Somebody said uh, Father Time as well. I think we read that, didn't we? I don't know. Somebody told me to do it, but I, I, I totally forgot. I don't think we read that. Five years though, man. I don't know, man. Five years, bro. She, she. No, no, no. We we read Rich Spirit already. And Father, Father Time, Time. 
I think we read that too. The, the, the uh, rich spirit is the one where he said he's fasting four days a week or whatever. And um, Father Time, that's the one he says, yo, um, I come from a generation of home invasions. I got daddy issues, and that's on me. Everything them four walls had taught me made bad ha habits buried deep. The man knew a lot, but not enough to keep me past some streets. My life a plot twisted from directions I cannot see. Daddy issues run across my head. Told me, fuck a foul. I'm teary-eyed. Want to throw my hands. I won't think out loud. A foolish pride if I lose again. I won't go in the house. I stayed outside laughing with friends. They don't know my life. Daddy issues made me learn losses. I don't take those well. Mama said that boy is exhausted. He said, go fuck yourself. If he give up now, that won't cost him. Life's a bitch. You could be a bitch or step out the margin. I got up quick. I'm charging baskets and falling backwards, trying to keep balance. Oh, this the part where mental stability needs talent. Oh, this the part. He breaks his humility just for practice. Tactics we learn together, sore losers forever. Daddy issues. Then he says, I got daddy issues. That's on me looking for I love you, really empathizing for my relief. A child that grew I was slightly confused because I'm not mature as I think. I got some healing to do. Egotistic, zero fucks given and to be specific. Need assistance with the way I was brought up. What's the difference when your heart is made of stone and your mind is made of gold and your tongue is made of sword but it might weaken your soul? My niggas ain't got no daddy. Growing up overcompensating, learning shit about being a man and disguising it, being gangster. I love my father for telling me to take off the gloves because everything he didn't want was everything I was. And to my partners that figured it out without a father, I salute you. May your blessings be as neutral to your toddlers. It's crucial. They can't stop us if we see mistakes. Till then, let's give the woman a break. Grown man with daddy issues. He snapped. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you the mess. Hey, by the way, this song sounded good too. I, this song sounded really good. So, but um, yeah, I think it's one of the songs I did like. Uh, bro, got harder. yeah, yeah. Sam Sanford killed it, bro. Yo, Sanford voice always just sounds so fucking good. And I never listened to a, a Sanford album like just him by himself. But fuck, every time he's on a song, I just love it. Anyway, this one, say, yo, these are heavy topics. I think he's right too. He's saying that like a lot of things with dudes is like daddy issues. It's like you want love from your father, but your father just keeps telling you like your son. Like, fuck that emotion shit. Don't be weak. Be a man. Like, yo, go get that money. Like, whatever, whatever. So he's looking at how his father's processing his father's mom died. And did he mourn? Nah, he was just like, yo, I got to go back to work. And he's saying, well, why is he going back to work? And he's like, man, these bills ain't got no silver spoon. What the hell? You know what I mean? So I, I guess he's kind of saying us dudes, based on not getting that love from your father, or being able to tap into your own emotions, we grow up as emotionless, and we pretty much put that out to the world, which seems about right. Bruh. Some nigga said, some nigga said, J. Cole raps about these topics and does it better. You are out of your fucking mind, nigga. You are literally out of your fucking cranium. Nah, bro. Don't ever disrespect Kendrick Lamar like that ever again. Nigga, I, I, Kendrick Lamar 7 is another nigga's, like, fucking 11. So, chill out. I don't know, man. Nah, I can't. Nah, J. Cole couldn't even. Like, for your eyes, I mean, what's it? For the drive was probably the closest he would ever get on some shit like this, bro. R Rich the interlude. I think this is Kodak. I think Kodak says, Yo, I learned entrapping in the business. Smart people make horrible decisions, you know. Rich nigga getting my dick sucked after the show. I ain't never lie. We were poor. A bunch of lost souls in survival mode. It wasn't no... Yo, I'm glad he put Kodak on this because Kodak's a poet, bro. I'm telling you. I really think so. Well, he's the big step on the album. Oh. He's the hood nigga, and Kendrick is the the morality nigga. He's speaking about morality. Is that really what I it like is? that? I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, oh, you figured that out like quick. That. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I ain't gonna lie, we were poor, a bunch of lost souls in survival mode. It was no way for us unless we found our own. Running in stores, kicking in doors, nigga, give me my glory. Nigga, play with me, he ain't gonna live to tell a story. You know what type of shit we glorify? Everybody, gang, gang. Most of the people you grew up with, man, in a chain gang, in a box, getting pink. Nigga, shitting where you sleep, nigga, shitting where you eat. Who the ever knew I would ever become fucking Kodak? Yeah, rap money good, but I'm still pumping gas through the hood. Dropping off plates to the fam like Thanksgiving. Got the baby sniper stand on, on that Merc business. 
Yeah, sliding for yak. They're ready for whatever. And I always knew everything would get better. And for the show, got greater later. And the game came from the elders like hand-me-downs. Me and my brothers will hear me now. Now I'm giving back to the giving the game back to the old heads. And I respect. And respect come first, you know. Can't be better than the OGs. You got to get it somewhere. Got to come from something. Got to come from nothing. We ain't seen this coming. We got more than a blessing. What you doing with Kendrick? What you doing with a legend? So what they call you? When it's all said and done, we ain't leaving empty-handed. That's on gang. That's on my dukes. Poor than a bitch, but she fall through. Making ends meet. Daddy dead beat. Had to steal a meal or you can't eat, you know? Poverty? Real cause? Food babies? Now look at this shit. We own property. Bro, Kodak is the hey, Chad, I told y'all before this album come out, man. One thing about this nigga Kendrick, and this is where his pocket is. This is why, you know, everybody does what they do great. Kanye, when it comes to, you know, bringing music to a different realm and, and, and broadening what just, what even hip-hop is, he does that nobody could compete with him. I think Drake has his own pocket, but what Kendrick's pocket is, some of these topics that he's touching on, I think he's able to touch and resonate with the minds of people. Um, and he's the only person whose words, I believe, could lead a renaissance in some type of way. Whether it's people, whether it's even men kind of acknowledging trauma, right? Whether it's, you know, people rethinking cancer culture to a certain extent. I'm not saying it's going to work, whatever, but... I think that's where his music is lives at, and he could do those things. If Drake says something about cancer, like I always say, like your projections is is goes off marketing at first, then it goes by word of mouth. This is all people are gonna be talking about for the whole week. Yeah, Kendrick don't need, bro. He didn't even market it. He really didn't even post his album, bro. So I say, I, 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 I okay, still be, bro. Maybe I say 440. CLB. I say 440. Yo, but I really he think he's going to do a half a million. What if he also sells CLB, bro? Drake better drop this year. <laughs> bro, well, Kendrick got the best album of the year, obviously. Ain't, ain't nobody dropped. So Kendrick got the best album of the year. Kend Drake ain't going to drop this year. If Kendrick, I said this last time. But I said that. I don't even know if you remember. I said this five years ago, bro, when Kendrick dropped. I said that nigga was going to outsell Drake, and he looked at me like I was fucking. Even though it was a mixtape, it's still Drake. He looked at me like I was fucking crazy. Nah, and that nigga sold like 600K first week. Nah, well, so, well, well, I ain't gonna lie. Damn, damn was a. That was the album damn, people wanted him to make. Was that not a surprise album? I, I can't remember. But I don't know if it was a surprise album. No, 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 no. He dropped Humbling, whatever, but people didn't know oh, yeah, that. He, like, humble, yeah. he was dropping like songs that, bro, he has Love on It with Zakari, he has Lord to Me yeah. Rihanna. Uh, um, um, he had DNA, DNA. um, really humble, out, like yo, bro. He had a he had a slew of singles. You feel me? We'll see how this goes, but I think just off people missing him, it's like when Uzi, Uzi didn't drop for like four years. Like I think that's that times through two or three, and I and if Uzi did like two hundred, three hundred that time, three hundred K, bro. Yeah, I think he could come out. And um, do four hundred forty six hundred and fifty k, bro. Yeah, I'm just yeah. That's gonna be fucking crazy, bro. Yeah. Anyway, yo, I'm about to wrap this bitch up. Um, you have anything you want, want to announce or you want to stream after this? I, I'll host you. Uh, no, nah, I, I ain't gonna stream, bro. I'm, I'm going to fucking bed, bro. I gotta, I gotta do the show, bro. For real, man. Uh, like people don't realize. I'm gonna go listen to the album again, bro. Y'all niggas don't stone me to death. I come back probably with another opinion, but I gotta listen to it again. All right. Real rap. Yo, people, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. Um, this has been a listening party for Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers album. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitch, I appreciate y'all all. Um, I don't want to give my full opinion on the album because, again, I was fucking kind of in awe of some of the things he was touching on, just reading the lyrics, and that shit went over my head when I was listening. You know what I mean? Albums come out at midnight now. Nigga, I'm off that hand dog and cooling, so it's like I'm gonna miss a lot of stuff. But I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna bump this shit. You know what I mean? 
Nah, act, act. You should host Kyrie Irving. <laughs> really?